shop dogs here today. There's a new bar and chain for the 260. So I'll get that all unwrapped and start putting it all together. If anybody knows of a good uh, holder for a phone, let me know. So I'm kind of winging it here. Hope everybody's having a good day. I checked out the drive sprocket. It's got a little bit of wear on it. Um, at the dealership they had to order one, they didn't have a new sprocket for it. So whenever that gets in, I'll replace it. Okay, I got this chain all untangled here. When you uh, put a chain on, make sure you put it on the right way. I've seen lots of guys put it on the wrong way, put them on backwards. And they can't figure out why their chainsaw is not cutting. So if you look at the cutter teeth, you want them that way, going with the rotation of the motor. Okay, I gotta put my phone down a little bit, it's hard with one hand. Okay, once you get your bar and chain on, snug it up. Always just throw a block of wood underneath the bar to hold it up. the angle of the bar if your bar is laying down you're gonna have greater slack if you lift it up it'll be tighter you always want your bar lifted up that's proper adjustment for a uh, chainsaw bar and chain it's a little bit tight And it's going to stretch too, so you're going to have to uh, readjust it. Yeah, I'd like to hear what other guys are using for doing videos, what they're using for equipment, what they're using for uh, holding cameras or phones, whatever you're using. I just have a phone. I just wanted to start making videos. Can't work or nothing right now, so I'm just trying to stay busy. Hopefully some of my little bit of stuff can help somebody out one day. And I don't just work on chainsaws. I don't do it for money. I just, this is my own stuff. I work on motorcycles. As you can see, there's s, &S carburetor, Super G. That's going on my uh, 96 inch shovel. That's the bike I'm rebuilding. It's one that I was in the accident. 
it's a different frame, but that'll be all done soon. Hopefully by fall time. But yeah, you just you don't want your chain tight. You want it loose. The tighter you have it, the more your bar is gonna wear. And bars aren't cheap. This bar cost eighty dollars yesterday, and the chain was one hundred and twenty bucks. Hey there, all set up, ready to go. Those new dogs look better on there than those cheap ones it came with. This saw is fairly old. And the bar, you gotta, everybody might think the bar's upside down, but when they're new, I put them on upside down. So next time I sharpen the chain, I put it right side up. Always flip your bar every time you sharpen your chain or replace it. Then that way it just it wears even and it'll last twice as long. Like I said, parts for these aren't cheap, so do what you can to save money.